Good morning, friends around the world. Let's begin our meditation today by listening with mindfulness. With a teaching from the former photographer of the National Geographic, DeWitt Jones, titled, Celebrate What's Right with the World. Let's get in our comfortable positions. Be aware of all that is around us, remaining in the present moment and breathe. I'm DeWitt Jones. For 20 years, I worked for National Geographic, photographing stories all over the globe, creating extraordinary visions. I learned a great deal from these visions, about society, about geography, about people. But the vision that most changed my life was not photographic. It was an attitude, a perspective that exists at the core of the geographic. A vision so simple, yet so profound. A vision I'd like to share with you. Celebrate what's right with the world. We all have teachers in our lives. Mentors that show us what's possible. The National Geographic was one of those for me. Maybe it was for many of you, you know. I used to read it at night, and even after my parents told me to turn out the light and go to sleep, I wouldn't do it. I, I'd get a flashlight, I'd hide under the covers. I, I, I'd stay up and stare at those photos in that little yellow book. Pictures that showed me the possibilities the world had to offer. I never thought I'd work for them. I never thought I'd shoot for them. They began to influence my life long before I even knew I was a photographer. Why? Because they had a wonderful vision. What, what they charged me with every time they sent me out was to celebrate what was right with the world rather than wallow in what was wrong with it. That's why we keep them. We all do. I mean, it's a national sacrilege to throw away a geographic because they celebrate what's right with the world. And nobody wants to throw that away. When I was growing up, I, I used to hold that maxim, I won't believe it until I see it. Yet the more I shot for the geographic, the more I realized that I had it backwards. That the way it really works is, I won't see it till I believe it. That's the way life works. Well, I believed it. I believed the vision of the geographic, and the more I did, the more I'd see it in everything. They'd send me out to places I'd never been. I'd believe there would be beautiful landscapes to photograph. They'd appear. I'd believe those landscapes would be full of wonderful people. They'd be there. I'd begin every assignment, every day, every shot, trying to celebrate what was right with the situation rather than what was wrong with it. When I started, I, I had no idea how powerful that vision would be, how much it would change my life. But vision controls our perception, and our perception becomes our reality. But vision controls our perception, and our perception becomes our reality. Celebrating what's right with the world, it was, a, it was a vision that had purpose and passion for everybody at the geographic. Do you have a vision like that? Not, not just for your organization, for yourself. You know, a vision that you can put into six words, that every morning when you say those words, you say, yes, that's why you're doing whatever it is you're doing. Because when the vision is clear, then passion and creativity are there as well. Because when the vision is clear, then passion and creativity are there as well. I know that. I know that because I lived it. All of a sudden, I wasn't just looking at those pictures on the printed page. I was there, and what an incredible place there was. From the highest mountains to rivers drenched in sunlight, to rainbows and seashells. Everywhere I looked, there would be amazing beauty for me to photograph. And, and in the geographic's view, man was an integral part of that beauty. Not something separate, just as beautiful, just as magical as anything else on the planet. 
And when I celebrated the best in people, I could see that. I could see it in the faces of those at work or the body language of those at play, those in their youth or in their age. I, I would see it. I would see that light that shines not on us, but from within us. I, I would see it. I would see that light that shines not on us, but from within us from within us when we trust enough to let it out. It was the same light I'd seen in nature that didn't have to trust to expose itself, but just graced us every day with the delicacy of a flower or the fading light on Half Dome. Yet the more I celebrated the beauty of the world, the more I found a conflict growing within me between the, between the geographics paradigm and the worldview that I'd been taught since I was a child, my, my intellectual paradigm. You all know it. The law of the jungle, eat or be eaten, my win is your loss, second place is the first loser. We live in that paradigm all the time, a world based on fear and scarcity and competition. It's true if you choose to believe it, but it wasn't what nature was showing me. Nature was showing me incredible beauty standing just beyond the rat race, saying, hello, hello. All was there, if I was open enough to see it. I mean, come on, nature never stood in front of a forest and said, there is one great photograph hidden here. One photographer will find it and the rest of you will be hopeless losers. Nature said, how many roles you got to win? Bring it on, bring it on, I'll fill them up. I'll fill them up with layers of beauty and possibility beyond anything you've ever imagined. Let's spend the rest of the time that we have this morning in this meditation and let's think about the things that we can celebrate in our own lives. <laughs> 